Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak about the wedge calculation. Wedge is formed from the remains or the residue of what is discharged already. Wedge sometimes is formed because of the water content in the oil. So as the oil is loaded in the bottom part, there is a wedge formation because of the water. Now we will do the wedge calculations using a measurement that is perpendicular to the deck first and then we will go on to the measurement which is done perpendicular to the liquid right so let us see how we do the wedge calculations uh, in the initial part when we are doing the wedge calculations we have to first prove that the wedge exists that means after pumping out the oil whatever is uh, remaining right that liquid does not reach the forward bulkhead which means that there is a wedge formation in the compartment Normally the questions which we do uh, for the competency examinations is the wedge calculation when there is no list. Not that the calculations cannot be done when there is list also, but the calculation would become extremely complicated. So let us take a simple case whereby the measurement is done perpendicular to the deck. The length of the vessel, let's take it as 210 meters, trim as 4 meters. There is a tank whose length is 30 meters, the breadth is 20 meters and the depth is uh, 16 meters. Alleged port uh, is uh, in center line and 4 meters forward of aft bulkhead and 1.4 meters above tank top. Let's look at the tank straight away in the side elevation and here is the wedge formed. I have exaggerated uh, the slope of the wedge but as you see it in uh, the four and a half view, this distance from the half bulkhead is four meters. There is a measurement perpendicular to the deck which goes like this and let us say the wedge is PQR and from here to here is suppose ST and this is U. Instead of remembering the formulae, we should play with the drawing and we should derive the results from the drawing. Look at this right angle triangle. I told you in my first lecture, wherever the vessel is trimmed and wherever you are looking at a tank or liquid from the side, a right angle triangle is likely to form with a small side and a long side. The relationship between these two perpendicular sides that is the smaller side and longer side is the same relationship as trim and LBP. If I know the smaller side I can find out the longer side by multiplying with LBP and dividing by trim. So let us use the relationship between the perpendicular side the smaller side and longer side. From smaller side if I want longer side I have to multiply with LBP divide by trim. So if the sounding is 0.2 meters then 0 0.2 into 210 divided by 4 that will give me by 4 that will give me that will give me 10.5 meters. So this distance is 10.5 and because this distance is 4 meters between the alleged port and the half bulkhead the total distance is 14.5. So we get uh, uh, QR is equal to 14.5 but now if you look at this right angle triangle we know the longer side and I want to find out the smaller side then PQ will be 14.5 into 4 divided by 210 14.5 into 4 equal to divide by 210 gives me 0 0.276 0 0.276 so PQ is 0 0.276 and QR is 14.5 so we know the area of the triangle area of the triangle is half into base into height 0 0.276 into 14.5 this is the area of the wedge as you see from the side and if we want to find out what is the volume of the wedge we multiply with the beam or the breadth of the tank that is 20 meters so let's see it is uh, 15.5 gives me 
40.02 meter cube. So 40.02 meter cube is the volume of this wedge. This wedge was measured under the LH port where the measurement was done perpendicular to the deck. Now let's keep the dimensions of uh, the tank and the ship uh, the same, trim also the same. But let us say we are using a sounding tape now to get the sounding and sounding tape would run perpendicular to the liquid as you can see. Let us assume that the wedge is PQR. We have to prove that the QR is less than the length of the tank which means that the wedge exists. So uh, let us say PQR, PQR, this is S, T and over here you have U. And let's draw also a perpendicular side of the tank UB and we know that UB is equal to 16 plus 1.4, 17.4 meters. Now we are measuring uh, along the sounding tape and as you have seen in the last calculation, we did not want the height of the tank, but here we need the height of tank. We need to know what is this distance UV, that is 17.4. Now there is a very simple uh, calculation. We already know about the perpendicular side relationship. Now here we will also talk about the adjacent sides relationship. This is adjacent and this is hypotenuse. As you can see, this is the perpendicular distance with the tank. This side and this side, that means these two adjacent sides, they maintain the relationship of cosine and secant. Now this angle that you see here is the trim angle. We need to find out what is the trim angle. 4 divided by 210 equal to shift tan will give me the trim angle as 1.091. So trim angle is equal to 1.091 degrees. That is the trim angle. Now, if you say that the distance from here to here is capital D, that is a perpendicular distance to the bottom of the tank, can we say this distance is D upon cos trim angle? D upon cos trim angle. A simple relationship. If this side is D, this side is D set trim angle or D upon cos trim angle. Now, we know that this much is the sounding and that is 0.22. So over here from the top of the alleged port till here the distance is D sec trim angle D sec trim angle minus the sounding that means minus ST. But here we discover yet another right angle triangle which is 90 degrees over here that means here we can also play a game between the cosine and secant relationship of this side and this side this is the perpendicular side so if from this perpendicular side if i want to find out the longer hypotenuse side this should be the secant of this information once again uh, let us look at the calculations we have measured the sounding perpendicular to the liquid that means what we have is st st is equal to 0.22 now the total height of the tank including the alleged port is uv and uv is equal to d now if the perpendicular distance to the bottom is d then the slant distance should be d sec trim angle or d upon cos trim angle this is how i find out ut so ut should be equal to 17.4 into secant of trim angle trim angle happens to be 1.091 degrees once we have got uv from there i minus 0.22 which was the sounding so what i get is us so us is uh, the perpendicular side of this smaller right angle triangle you look at this smaller right angle triangle which is right angle at S. So if I have US, I can find out UW by multiplying with the set trim angle. So UW is nothing but D set trim angle minus ST into secant of trim angle. So this is D, D, this is D sec trim angle, 
dsec trim angle minus sounding is this and this multiplied by secant of trim angle is once again uw and uw when i subtract from 17.4 uw when i subtract from 17.4 i will get vw and vw happens to be 17.4 minus uw now once we've got vw we are able to find out vr because we can multiply by lbp and divide by trim once we get VR which is 11.22 plus 4 meters that is 15.22 is the horizontal side or this perpendicular side that is a longer perpendicular side. To that longer perpendicular side if I multiply by trim divide by LBP I get PQ that is 0 0.29. 0 0.29 multiplied by 15.22 multiplied by half will give me this area and this area multiplied by the beam sorry this area multiplied by the breadth of the tank will give me the volume of the wedge so volume of the wedge is 44.138 44.138 meter cube so this is how we calculate the volume of the wedge when the soundings are taken perpendicular to the liquid surface using sounding tape sonic tape or uti gauge Thank mm -hmm. you.